Low glycemic index food or low GI food equals food that will not spike your blood glucose. True or false? What do you think? What would be your answer to this question? Is it true that low GI food will not spike your blood glucose? And the answer may surprise some of you or even confuse some of you further. Because the answer is, it is true sometimes, but may not be true all the time. If you're interested to know why I say that, watch on. But first, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Chan. I am a medical doctor from Singapore. I am on a mission to awaken people to the power of healthy lifestyle and eating habits in combating diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and other lifestyle habits related chronic diseases. In this video, I want to address a very common misconception that many people, including my patients, have about glycemic index or GI, which is that many wrongly think, wrongly assume that low GI food equals to food that will not spike their blood glucose. Because although this is true sometimes, but it may not be true all the time. Let me explain. Firstly, foods that are labelled as or categorised as low GI can have a very wide range of GI. When the glycemic index system was developed in the 1980s, it was decided rather arbitrarily that foods with GI of 55 or below can be grouped together as or labelled as low GI. I have a video in my glycemic index playlist that covered this, including the basics of GI. What is GI? How GI is categorized and measured. Suggest that you also watch that if you have not already done so. I shall leave the link in the description. So because of this, we now have this very diverse and very mixed bag of foods with a very wide range of GI. Anything from 1 to 55 that are lumped together in this low GI category. Let me give you an example. The GI of cauliflower is less than 20, whilst the GI of this low GI labelled rice is 51. But because of the system of how GI is categorised as I explained earlier, both this cauliflower with a GI of less than 20 and this rice with GI of 51 are categorised as or labelled as low GI. And yet I think everybody can see that the potential blood glucose spike from eating cauliflower is obviously going to be very different from eating rice, even this low GI tested, low GI labelled rice. So even for foods that are categorised as or labelled as low GI, the impact that they have on blood glucose can vary widely, depending on what the actual GI is. Whilst we can reasonably expect that low GI foods with GI below 20 would not spike blood glucose much, we cannot confidently say the same of low GI foods with GI in the 40s and 50s range because foods in the higher range of the low GI spectrum or criteria would still spike blood glucose to a certain extent, especially for people with diabetes, or bit to a lesser extent than taking higher GI equivalent foods. Reason number two. Two, why I say this statement that this thinking common amongst many people that low GI foods equals foods that will not spike blood glucose may not be true all the time is because glycemic response is not the same as glycemic index. In very simplified terms, I can say that glycemic response refers to the actual blood glucose response of a person after eating whilst glycemic index actually specifically refers to a laboratory determined index, a relative indicator of the average blood glucose response of a group of people that a particular food or meal might elicit when compared to consuming glucose when tested in controlled laboratory conditions. And the glycemic response that a food or meal might elicit in an individual is affected by many factors, with the GI of the carbohydrate containing ingredients in the food or meal being only just one of the many factors affecting actual glycemic response. I know it can be a little confusing, but stay with me. Let me try to explain by using this low GI rise to illustrate and explain the different factors that will affect the glycemic response a person would have to a particular food or meal. This is the low GI rise. I got this from a local supermarket here in Singapore. On its packaging, it clearly stated that it has been sent to a laboratory for GI testing and has determined that this particular rice has a GI of 51 and therefore qualifies for a low GI label. Therefore, this rice had a prominent certified low GI label on its packaging. Okay, let's use this low GI rice as a starting point. This is 100 gram of this rice cooked. The GI of this rice is 51. This is 50 gram of this same rice cooked. The GI of this is also 51. But I am sure 
everyone watching this would expect, and rightly so, that a person's blood sugar responds to eating this 100 gram portion of cooked rice to be different from eating this 50 gram portion of this same rice cooked in the same way. So this is the first thing to note other than GI. Glycemic response is also affected by the amount of carbohydrate containing foods eaten in the meal. But most people typically do not eat rice on its own. One would usually have rice with some vegetables or with some meats or with both. A person's glycemic response to these three combination meals would be different even though all three contained the same amount of the low GI rice cook in the same way. I shall not go into the science of why this happens. For this video, I simply want to focus on this very important point, which is even if one is eating a meal containing low GI ingredients, and in this example, low GI rice, what one eats that with, how much of, and what combination of with regards to other foods in that same meal, such as meats and non-starchy vegetables, will also affect one's glycemic response after consumption of that meal. Thirdly, processing or preparation of carbohydrate containing ingredients. This is 100 gram of the low GI rice cooked in a rice cooker. This is 100 gram of the same low GI rice cooked in lots of water for almost an hour into a rice porridge or congee. A person's glycemic response to these two bowls of 100 gram of the same low GI rice but which are prepared or processed differently would not be the same. Because glycemic response to a meal is also affected by the type of cooking preparation method or degree of processing of the carbohydrate containing ingredient in the meal. Lastly, who? Let's go back to use this example of this combination meal with 100 gram of cooked low GI rice combined with some meats and some vegetables. If you give this same meal to different people, all of them would have a different glycemic response to this same identical meal. Some would have their blood glucose spike more than others because of individual differences in insulin production and insulin sensitivity. So these are the reasons why my answer to the statement low glycemic index food equal food that will not spike blood glucose is that it may only be true sometimes but may not be true all the time. Because firstly, low GI categorized or low GI labeled food can have a very wide range of GI values from 1 to 55. Secondly, glycemic response of any individuals to a food or meal depends on more than just the glycemic index of the carbohydrate containing ingredients in the food. The amount of how it is combined with other foods preparation method of, of the carbohydrate containing ingredient in the meal would also affect glycemic response. And lastly, the actual glycemic response of different individuals even when they are given identical meals containing low GI ingredients would be different because of individual differences in their body's insulin production and insulin sensitivity. This video, together with other videos in my series of videos on glycemic index, covers some of the key must-know about glycemic index that I teach my patients in my clinic and also to people who attend my various workshops on lifestyle, diet and health including glycemic index. Do check out the other videos in the series if you have not already done so. I hope you have found this video useful. Thank you for watching. I am Dr. Chan. Let habits be thy medicine. Let's unlock the power of healthy lifestyle and dietary habits as medicine. One dose, one habit at a time.